Brown had sent me essays. And I hadn't finished the first paragraph before I knew that that was going to be the title, Dead and Good Company. And it was a great first paragraph, but I thought I should probably read the rest of the essay before I said, okay, we're done. <laughs> and it really, it was a very, very good article, a very good essay. And our purpose for the book was to show a different side of a cemetery, as a place of life, as a place of regeneration, as a circle, <laughs> as opposed to a final burial ground. As John said to his point, that a cemetery is a cemetery, and it isn't, because Mount Auburn was America's first landscape burial ground in 1831, and the goal at that time was to change people's concept of death. And I met John, as he said, in 2011. I was at the lowest point of my life. I had to become a reluctant caregiver to my mother who had early dementia and moved to Massachusetts and had been a lifelong hoarder and things really got bad and then they got worse and even worse than that. And I was an executive and I lost my job and so things were pretty bad. I was very desperate for finding things to do to help my mother and so we took a trip to Florida to meet her childhood friend and after lunch we went to a wetlands called Wakota Hatchie. And we were walking and there was a man photographing herons, the very, very close. And wouldn't you know, nothing happens by accident. He was from Massachusetts. <laughs> and so he started talking to me. He started talking, I didn't say anything. And then he asked about Mount Auburn Cemetery and had I gone and there are owls and owls are my favorite bird and one thing led to another. And so he gave me some names of people and I contacted them when I returned, and I called John, and he re he responded, and we we met at the cemetery. And I remember thinking that anyone who suggests meeting at a cemetery for the first time has got to be a really interesting person, because I didn't know much about Mount Auburn Cemetery. But someone says, "Oh, let's meet at the cemetery." You think, "Gosh, what am I getting into?" And we went to look for the owls, and that began a new phase of my life. And it was interesting because a lot of people were worried about me. I'd spent a long time building my career now. I didn't have a job, but what do you do all day? <laughs> I go to the cemetery. <laughs> and I said, but, but they're owls, they're owls, owls. <laughs> and you know, like, okay, whatever. And so it was pretty um, interesting that I was spending time at a cemetery, but they really helped me get back to the person I used to be. And one adventure led to another, and within a year I got the same job that I had that I lost as a regional manager, back in the air and back flying. And we've had many adventures since, and now I've gotten so addicted I go to Trinidad and, and Belize and Guatemala and Costa Rica looking for birds. And so our, our goal for, for the book is to show that there's something for everyone in the book. There are lots of photographs of the migratory birds, Mount Auburn Cemetery is one of the most important places for birds in Massachusetts. It's a spring migrant trap. There are lots of other mammals there, and it's a very, very beautiful place so that you can be contemplative, appreciate life, and also appreciate the circle of life and the raptors and the prey and the birth and the death as a circle. So thank you very much, and we're going to continue with our program tonight, and we have two of our contributors, so you'll get a lot of variety and see a lot of pictures. Thank you.